Hello everyone and welcome to a very exciting first look of the Glossop line, the first modern UK passenger route since January for Train Sim World, I believe if I'm remembering correctly there, but I think the last one was Edinburgh Glasgow. So here we are, this is Manchester Piccadilly and we're going to be making our way over to Hadfield via Glossop. Um, so let's jump straight in the cab and let's get going out of Manchester. Right, here we are. Uh, so we've two Golf 05, Manchester Piccadilly to Hadfield via Glossop. So we're three coaches long, we weigh 134 tonnes and we're 74.5 yards long. And it's the class 323. You might be thinking, hang on, I know the class 323, that sounds very similar. Yes, you probably have driven this train before if you've been keeping up to date and you've got the sort of the, the last Dovetail Games modern UK route. As the 323 is on the Birmingham Cross City line. And if you've already got the Cross City line, I believe you do get a discount for the Glossop line. And I must say, again, big thanks to, well not again, but big thanks to Dovetail Gamers for giving us a key to show this off. All the opinions will be of my own. If I don't like something, I'll point it out. I don't live anywhere near this route. I've never been on it. The only, I suppose, um, what's, what's the word? The only knowledge I have of it is of the 1970s version on Train Sim Classic. So I don't think that knowledge is going to come in very handy. For this video, um, but yeah, we're just going to jump in and uh, see what it's like. So it seems like the GSMR is it is sort of operational. Let's sort of do that again. There we go. There we go. So I'll say yeah, the same functionality as the uh, as the Cross City one. Um, let's get the safety systems on. Uh, that one as well. I don't know why, but I always do that one as well, even I don't think I actually do need to. And that should be everything. So you can see you've got the northern colours and, of course, the northern livery. Oh, there's a, another one coming in there. Yes, yeah, so you've got the northern livery on here. Uh, I think this is one it uh, got taken back by the government. Um, so it's, you've got the capital letters for, for northern yeah, quite a quite a nice livery. It's very fresh as opposed to quite a lot of other sort of northern liveries, which just look yeah. This one looks uh, looks rather nice. I won't say it suits this train the best, but it certainly does uh, look pretty clean. The lights on. Yeah, lights are on. It's like they're more sort of got more of a sort of a yellowy tint on here. This is Manchester Piccadilly. Uh, let's get the door shut. Now, will we hear the guard buzzer going off? Will we hear the guard buzzer? It's on the 158 for Skyhook, you now do. Okay, don't think we do. Maybe that'll be added in at a later date. Um, let's set that to forward. And the next station stop is Ashbury's. I think we've set up everything as it should be. Here we go. This is exciting. Our journey begins, and I might move up the webcam just a tiny bit, just so it's not on the. Uh... There we go. This is where it all goes wrong. Uh, yeah, fine. Testing. Is it out that way as well? No. Yeah, there. Uh, no, I think we are all fine. I think. <laughs> I'm just trying to test if we are still all good with that webcam move. Yeah, we're we're all good. I think. Cool. There you can just you can see more of the speedo now, as we were, as, as we were blocking it a little bit. So leaving Manchester Piccadilly, the newest. Well, we've, we've both now got Manchester Victoria and Piccadilly in the game. Well, Victoria being in the 1980s, but there we go. There's Manchester Piccadilly, looking pretty decent, and quite a lot of sort of buildings and scenery quite far in the distance as well. So that's good. Looks looks alive. Feels. Feels good as well. How far down can you see this way? Can you see to Manchester Oxford Road? Uh, not really, now. It's around the corner. Oh, hello. you got a HST there as well. I didn't realise they ran on here. Uh, and yeah, there is uh, quite a few, I think there are a couple of layers for this. You've got the, uh, the Class 158, the Midland Mainline 158, which you'll see as AI, and I think there's one playable service. Uh, and also the class 66 uh, from southeastern high speed uh, will give you some services and then if you own great western express i think it then gives you some more services as well and spirit of steam I think there's a rail tool and northern trans pennine 
I think that also gives you a rail tour service as well. So plenty to be getting on with. Ha, overtaking you. What station stops are, what, what are the stations on this route? We should be an all-stop service. Uh, Ashbury's, Guide Bridge, Flowery Field, Newton for Hyde, Godley, Hattersley, Broadbottom, Dinting, uh, Glossop, and then I think it then goes on to part two. As that Glossop, you sort of then have to, you go in and you have to sort of, well, go change ends and go back out. Oh, wait, no, stop in here. Maybe we're not an all stop service. What's this station? Very tiny station. Would we even fit in at that station? Ardwick. Oh, we're not stopping there. We're going straight the way through. Poor Ardwick not being served by us. And it is a relatively short route. I think it comes in at about 14 miles. But it is more of a metro route and the price does reflect that. Uh, I believe this route is £19.99. So it's £10 less than what you're usually paying for a route. As yeah, it is quite a short route. I mean, a, a full end, well, full, full run end to end is about at most forty minutes. Um, as yeah, it's more, I suppose, sort of like a, a Manchester metro route. So I suppose you could sort of compare it to something like Cross City, but only having Birmingham to uh, Birmingham to maybe Lichfield. That's it. So you don't get, you wouldn't get sort of the other bit. So it's relatively short, short but sweet. And we are showing this from the Xbox Series X. As I'm more of a console player, so I don't like when I have to do TSW on PC. Little SCR stop marker there. Yeah, this is Ashbury's. Let's try and work out some of the collectibles. What are the collectibles? Newspapers. Mm, that would be a hint, would it? Oh, let's get going already. That was very quick. Some sort of bumblebee planter. I think I saw a map as well. Yeah, map there. Uh, and maybe a poster for the last one. Right, guide bridge next. Let's go. We're off. Cool. And route mappers. For, well, for a route map for any route mappers out there. Manchester Piccadilly. Um, I guess that's probably the Ardwick Depot. I don't know this area very well. Comes along here, a little, a few freight yards, which I think do allow for some sort of freight services. Um, come along here. This is Dinting, Dinting Junction. Uh, you've then got Glossop down here, and then Hadfield up the end here, which is used to be part of the Woodhead line, which I think took you all the way to Sheffield. Uh, but in the 1970s, uh, that bit past Hadfield shut. So Hadfield is now the end of the line, sadly. Was well, it 60 miles an hour? So relatively, uh, relatively quick. There's quite a nice gap as well between uh, these two stations. And we're going up a one in a 173 gradient, which I think generally, when you are coming out of Manchester towards Hadfield, you are sort of going up most of the way. There's another station we're not stopping at. Oh, okay. Do some services stop here? I mean, I've sort of picked the rush hour one. Well, some do. Are we like a quicker service then? Let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> quite late at night. 22.06. Okay, so not many stop there, whatever one that was. I assume maybe some other services stop there, uh, maybe of, a, of another operator. Or maybe just different northern services to elsewhere. I said, I'm a southerner, so uh, 
I don't I don't know the the rail network round here too well. I've just noticed something as well. You've also something different to the cross city one. You've also got a little clock there as well. Or digital clock. I don't remember seeing that on the um the cross city three two three. So a few little differences to the uh, to the usual one. Another station we're not stopping at. I wanna get that off actually. I don't want the um yeah, I don't want the signal one on. I think we know our signals. Another one we just passed through there. I mean, this bit feels quite quick here. Still 60. Long gap between Ashbury's and Guide Bridge. Well, I'm assuming after Guide Bridge, it's then stop, 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 stop. One mile to Guide Bridge. Drew there basically now, so brilliant. We're already running late on our first service. I think it is quite a tight timetable on here, as I suppose it's sort of like a metro route. So yeah, you have to be quite rapid. But this train's well and truly capable. This is a bit. Oh, hello. That's a weird bit of track and poles there. <clears throat> Don't know what we just went under, but. Weird. Right, we're coming up to Guide Bridge. Is that an island platform? What's it going to be? An island, or is it going to be two separate ones? It looks like it might be an island. Oh no, that's the other train I'm looking at. I thought that might have been like a station building in the middle. There's quite a lot, I suppose. Quite a lot of sort of metro routes had island platforms or have island platforms. I know this one's got two separate ones. Or metro light -like routes. For the record, it's not a, it's not, it's not like the London Underground, but in Manchester, it's a full overhead standard um, railway line. I suppose it's a, a commuter belt between uh, Hadfield and uh, Manchester. Where's the stop marker at this one? Have, have we missed it? I guess it's just right to the end. Oh, that's a cool looking footbridge ahead. We need to go and have a look at that. Here we are. Welcome to a guide bridge. Let's come on up. What's this over here? It's quite a cool bridge, this. Footbridge enthusiast. I mean, it would be quite a cool place to spot trains. It's got the whole junction there. You've got a little depot there as well. It's, it's, do I spot the RHTT... Um, tank as I do. So that probably gives away there probably is a few RHTT services. Let's get that shut. Well, so yeah, once we get to the end of this service, we'll come out, we'll look at the scenarios, journey mode, timetable. We'll see what you can get up to on this route. I think there is a fair bit you can do. Which sort of utilises other Train Sim World DLC. Off we go. So that goes off into uh, the little depot there and wherever. Yeah, you pick up speed very quickly in these units. They're hyper networkers. And if you if you know the networker family of trains, the four six five, um, the uh, the three two three. Uh, what else counts as a networker? I think the the 166, that's sort of a diesel networker, isn't it? And that's the Thames Turbo, but I think that's sort of part of the network family. It could be wrong there. All relatively rapid trains, especially the electric ones. Oh, the 365s as well. They're networkers. It's all re relatively rapid. And this is the hyper one. So too much sugar. So 1 in 77 gradient here. So I suppose if you're going back the other way towards Manchester, quite a lot of this route, you could literally just coast it. We are making quite a bit of ground as we uh, make our way up. As we approach Flowery Field. I wonder what the, how the naming of that station came about. Flower, flowery Field. I suppose either there was... A flowery field there. When, when maybe when they were building the railway, uh, I don't know. Maybe it was just very flowery there. 
Or maybe that's the surname of someone, Flowery. Maybe they own the land, so they called it Flowery Field. I'm sure a wiki page would probably tell us. Right, 500 yards. And they're all quite short platforms as well. So don't expect quite long platforms like you do on Cross City, where you can sort of zoom in at, you know, 35 miles an hour and get a nice comfortable stop. They're quite short on here, so be slightly more cautious. But it's nice to be doing it in this train, rather than the class 506, I think it is, uh, on the Train Sim Classic version, which is probably one of the slowest electric multiple units ever. It is the slowest thing to drive. And here we are. And I'm just going, I suppose, to the end again. And yeah, quite a short platform there. Do the doors. Oh, and our driver's got the new, I suppose, the northern uniform as well. I like that. Just you know, those little, little things they do, like that. I mean, obviously, they, they've been doing it for ages, but still, just sort of changing the uniform of your own player driver in different trains. Right, Newton for Hyde next. Which would be the, I suppose, second station named Newton in the game. But I know it's Newton for Hyde. Uh, but the other Newton is on the Glasgow Cathcart Circle. Cool. And yeah, 900 yards. So this is where it gets really, really close to stations. And then into Newton for Hyde. I'm looking forward to seeing Glossop and Hadfield. They're two stations. I'm probably the stations I'm most looking forward to seeing. As in the Train Sim Classic version, they're all quite run down. And Hadfield actually continues on because the line was still open, the Woodhead line, uh, going towards Sheffield. So it'd be cool to see sort of, well, how they are now. <laughs> Yeah, I think for this first look, what we'll do, we'll basically go there and back, uh, which is about, about an hour. And then for other videos, we'll then look at the... I, know, I think there's a guarding scenario for this route, so you can guard the train, which is really cool. Um, and some sort of photography one, so we'll do them as separate videos. For the first look, I just want to sort of show you the line, the train you get, and I suppose the other bits and bobs you get. So we'll just go there and back. Right, let's get the door shut. Probably even stay on the same service if we're lucky. Actually, no, we'll, we'll come out after this and I'll show you what you can do on here. Right, it is a godly next. Let's go. And yeah, I know quite a few people have been, I mean, a, a, a little bit negative of Dovetail with the Glossop saying oh, they're recycling the train. But it, it's a new route. Well, what's the, what's the issue? It's a new route in a new city. Well, we have actually had Manchester before, but in the 1980s, which does use the 323 in real life. So might as well. And it's for a cheaper price as well. And I think you actually get it even more discounted if you own the Birmingham Cross City. So I can't really complain. 400 yards, wow, already. Dixie close. Should be a relatively easy route to learn Hudless. Which I'll try and do as soon as I can. Poor Godly, it doesn't even have a yellow line. 
Northern, paint a yellow line at Godley. There's a yellow line there, so obviously there are, there are yellow lines, but not all the way along the platform. Which I say actually probably actually is a realistic thing, considering there's there's a yellow line here. So maybe it doesn't have one in uh, real life. Northern, get a yellow line in. Quite a peaceful station, sort of on the edge of the hill, or on the edge of the uh, this. So yeah, it's quite. I like it. It's peaceful. Right, it's Hattersley next. Let's go. Oh, and another difference with the uh, with this version is the the front display, which I think is slightly smaller um, writing to that of the Cross City one. I believe it's a little bit different. Although, there is one thing which I still really would like to see them add back to sort of, well, train sim well trains is manual PIS. Uh, there's no form of that in this train. Oh, thought that was the next station then. I'm guessing, maybe, is that the old godly station? Abandoned station. I mean, it's got a yellow line, so it must be a relatively recent uh, uh, you know, re re relatively recently got abandoned, or recently got abandoned, maybe. 600 yards. And uh, this, I think, is... Is this an island? It is an island platform. Now, will there be a stop marker on the left-hand side? Although in this train it is, it's easy, because you don't have the, uh, the the gangway in the middle. Whereas if you're driving something like the Electro Star or even the 314 uh, on, say, Cathcart, it's quite hard to actually see the stop marker because it's on the right-hand side and you sort of you can't see that well over to that side. But on this one, no issue. No issue at all. Right, we're and here we are. This is Hattersley. Obviously, you used to have a much longer platform, but they've put this fence here to stop you from getting to that part of the platform. That looks like a very, very effective fence that does. No one's getting through that. Let's get the door shut. Ooh, is that, ooh, that is a collectible. Hang on. I'm getting that collectible. Oh, we're going to get the thing screaming at us, aren't we? No, no, it's fine. Hmm... Have we got real maps? Oh, that's what sort of, they sort of started doing, didn't they? What's that one? Support local shop. Oh, support local, shop local. It's time to give something back to your local community. Yeah, uh, I mean, this is sort of going... It looks like, yeah, it's, it's sort of going back to the old sort of map collectible. I suppose it would have been nice to see maybe a real route map. Um... There possibly could have been maybe licensing issues with a real map. I know it sounds silly, licensing issues with a map. Uh, but not always the train operating companies actually design the map themselves. Uh, I think for GTR, I've been told, uh, they own... No, the maps in the 700 uh, are licensed, I think, by FW Connect. Um, so, yeah. It might be the same sort of story here. But I suppose it's no biggie though. No biggie. Which I wonder if we actually will see route maps in the 700. Because on the sort of screenshots we've had so far, we haven't actually seen the route maps. So it might be sort of a similar story with that maybe. I suppose the 700 screenshots were work in progress. Broad bottom next in just over half a mile. It's a nice um, change in scenery on this route. It's the first, what, 
two, three stops quite built up now. It sort of feels like we're more out, out of the city. Which I'm sure we're not out of the city. We probably still are very much within Manchester. It's sort of one of those routes which deceive you. Like, like the Harlem line. The Harlem line, you think you're out in the middle of nowhere in the countryside. Whereas if you look on Google Maps, you're still literally in the middle of New York when you're at... Um, uh, what's the top station called? It's been so long since I've been on Harlem. North White Plains, that's the one. Yeah, it feels like you're sort of in the middle of nowhere, but no. You're very much not. My sister sort of has the same feeling. It feels like we're sort of out of the main city, but we're probably not. So you've got an old railway shed there. I want to say that's probably an old railway shed or something to do with the railway there. In front of us, some sort of maybe old oh, shed of some sort, which has been converted into apartments, probably apartment or flats. Cool. I love that though when you see sort of con uh, old converted railway buildings. There's one at um, there's well there's one in Stenning. If anyone knows about the Stenning line, let's uh, do that. Oh no, not that. Hold on, no, get get that on. Yeah, the Stenning line. They've got an old um, sort of station warehouse there, and that's been sort of converted into uh, flats. Looks awesome. Dinting next, which is in two miles. So in this bit, we'll be going over the Dinting Viaduct. And this is where it goes, I suppose, a bit weird as well, once we get to Dinting. And it's 40 as well, I suppose, 40 for going over the viaduct. Yeah, look at this. Tw what, 25 minutes ago we were in the middle of Manchester and now we're here. <laughs> and there's the Dinting Viaduct we're going over. I think, is that the Dinting Viaduct? No, I think it's a bit... No, I think it's a bit further up. Maybe that's the Broad Bottom Viaduct. And I think once we get to Dinting we're then actually into Derbyshire. So out of Greater Manchester. But no, funny how quick the uh, the landscape and the environment can change. From being in the middle of the city to 20 minutes later. I mean, it feels like, we're, well, I suppose, what's this, the Pennines? In the middle of them. Lovely. One mile to Dinton. Which we're not going to get there on time. Of course we're not. And we have got a 40 coming up again. Which, uh, yeah, I suppose probably would be going over... Well, full going over the uh, the Dinton Viaduct. Also, I wonder if there's any neutral sections on this route. I mean, it's obviously quite a short route, so probably not. Comment, comment below though. Would there uh, is there neutral sections on this route in real life, or maybe at least one of them? I'm guessing. I'm gonna say probably not. That could be wrong. Well, for some reason that suspicious uh, suspiciously seemed like a neutral section, or there would be one there. Then we go over the Dinting Viaduct and then down to 10 miles per hour. Look at this. There's a football pitch down there as well. So it's one of the highlight sort of infrastructure on the route. I mean, there's not really much more than that, really. I don't, there's no tunnels or anything. That is, that's just the highlight bit of infrastructure, and I suppose Manchester Piccadilly as well. That's quite impressive as well. Well, this has changed since I've, uh, well, since the 70s. I think this was double, yeah. 
that sort of comes across in well this into this. So I wonder if any trains actually do skip out Glossop and sort of use that platform there and go just straight to Manchester. As yeah, this is where it goes a bit weird. As we sort of have to backtrack on ourselves. We go down to Glossop, then we then come back up. I think we then stop at Dinting again and then go to Hadfield. Yeah, so sort of backtracking on ourselves. Adds on sort of an extra well probably yeah, sort of extra five, six minutes or so. Here we are, this is Dinting. This is really weird seeing it so, 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 uh, so, well, so sort of stripped back from the um, 70s version. Yeah, so Hadfield's that way. That, that's Hadfield uh, over there. But we've got to go down here first and then back up. Right. Let's go. It is Glossop next. Which isn't too far, but it is quite steep going down, if I remember correctly. So strap in, we're going to be going down. Yeah, it's quite steep. There you go, so it's going down now at minus 1 and 187, which isn't too bad at the moment. But I think it does go a bit more down than that. Old speed boards as well, or speed posts, not really a board is it? And even a 45 as well. Let's get that up. Up to 25 and soon up to 45. It's going down one in two ten at the moment. I swear it's steeper than that. It, it sort of feels steeper than that, but maybe it is quite gradual. No, it looks like it goes down more here. Or maybe not. Maybe it is just down one in one in two oh seven, which I suppose is still a bit of a grade. I mean, it's not flat. Uh, there we go. That minus minus. Uh, there we go. That's that's more of a grade. There we go. Now it's uh, down one in ninety two. But it was. Now it seems to be not now. And then down to ten miles per hour, and then into Glossop, which we then have to turn around there. Well, change ends, and then go back to uh, or go up to Hadfield. It's quite a unique operation for the route. I mean, I don't think there's any routes where you have to sort of, to continue, you have to go in, change ends, and go back. I mean, if East Coastway went to Org or got extended, you'd have to do it there at Eastbourne. But I think this is, yeah, I think this is the only example of where you have to uh, go in to then sort of continue. What are we going over here? River? Oh, a road. Hang on. Is that a house inside the road there? Yeah, that's like, I see what they've done. Maybe there's bungalows there in real life, but basically what they've done is just sunk the house into the uh, into the ground. You can, you can see the top window. Well, that's I suppose that would be the the front door. That looks good though. Now, I can't say for sure as I I don't know this uh, this place in real life. And I guess it sort of stopped right near the buffer. There we go. Right, do the doors. Uh, set the tail lights. Do that. Tail lights on. 
Um, we'll, I suppose, deregister the GSMR. Oh. Right, so we're not actually, we're not, we're not done. So return to free roam. Yeah, set that to that. That goes to, I think, that. Get that off. Uh, and change ends very quickly. And then head up to, um, to Hadfield. Close. In fact, let's, let's walk through the train. There you go, and then you can sort of get a feel for the different interior. The lights definitely do have more sort of a yellowy tint to them. Almost looks like sort of an older 323. Yeah, the first one's sort of cramped as well. I mean, look at this here. I mean, if you're trying to get through there, I mean, oh, that's... Northern, why are your trains so cramped? I suppose these are sort of the older fleet, but look at this. Getting through there, that's going to be quite tricky. There we go, this is Glossop. They really like to uh, make the most of the room, don't they? Maximise the uh, amount of seats. Hello, what, what are you doing here? Sorry, but this is our train. Uh, let's get the master key back in. So that's forward. Um, get the safety systems on this end. And I don't know when to do that, but I don't anyway. Hatfield next. Uh, we're all good to go. GSMR's on to Golf 05. Uh, no, we're not actually. We're not ready yet. Uh, tail lights off. Uh, put the headlights on. Now we're ready to go. There we go. <laughs> For a second, I was thinking, uh oh, we're probably not going to move. Probably done something wrong. But no, we're good. Goodbye, Glossop. We weren't here long, but we'll probably be back here very soon. When we do the the return run back to uh, back to back to Mank, back to Manchester. About we go. Yeah, it's quite a nice little end of the line stop. Not too much to it. Quite quaint. Sort of old station building as well. Nice. Where's this 25 begin? Well, not, not 10 all the way up, is it? Or most of the way up? Feels like it. Surely not. Oh, there was a, wasn't there a 20? Oh, there we go. Now we can speed it up. Up to uh, 45. And just over a mile back... Oh, shoot, hang on. We're not stopping at Dinton again. I thought we might have stopped at Dinton. Again. Maybe they don't do that. I mean I suppose really who would be going on who would be getting on at Dinting to go to Hadfield? One stop, less than a mile. Probably probably no one. I mean there might be the odd person per day who tries to get on the train at Dinting to go to Hadfield. Has anyone ever seen anybody trying to get on at Dinting to go to Hadfield? So there'd literally be no point. You'd probably walk it quicker than get in the train. Then I, I actually thought we would um, stop at Dinting again. Wonder if maybe they used to do that. Well, they're saying now. Oh God, let's um, slow it down. I wonder if that means um, when you're going towards Manchester, do you not stop when you come back up this way? Would you then? Would you then only stop on the way down? Let's have a look at the um, the CIS boards. Oh, hang on. There's no platform. How silly of me. <laughs> I, I I I was thinking there was a platform here, but th there's not. Ooh, but maybe th did there used to be a platform here? Well, maybe not. Ignore, D just ignore it. <laughs> mm. 
yeah, then on to, to Hadfield. I don't know if any trains actually do skip out Glossop and sort of go straight along here. This will tell us. One. The 2356. Hang on, that goes to Glossop. Well, apparently one train stops on that platform. I'm very slow again as well. Yeah, it'll be interesting what Hadfield's like. As I picture it as sort of a, well, two tracks with just a platform on the side. But I'm assuming it's probably going to be very, very much different to the 70s version. Let's get some speed on us. And down to 15. I mean, for, for a change, this is all different. As this obviously used to be double. And now it's, well, single. This is nice, though, sort of out this way. In Derbyshire, in the countryside. The amount of routes we've had in Derbyshire recently. Oh, and apologies. Oh, I can't say late again on that. Um, I said the last modern passenger route was Edinburgh, Glasgow. No, it wasn't. It was the Midland Main Line. I always forget. I don't know. What, I always forget the Midland Main Line. <laughs> Yeah, in the middle of Main Line was the last one, which was uh, in April. I'm sure I'll get some comments saying, it's the middle of Main Line. Wow, this is a lot different to how I pictured it. And then we're, oh, we've got like a little hump in the platform there. Maybe that's for the accessible area. Be weird if only one station has it though. Well that's the end of the line. Uh, so what was that? Well, 35 minutes, 40 minutes. And then you're back. Right, let's do that. Unlock the doors, and then we'll see what you can actually do on this route. What the what, well, what's on offer? Cool, seven minutes that one. Uh, right, back to the home page. Let's see what we got. Right, your collection. Uh, choose a route. Glossop line, Manchester, Hadfield, and Glossop. Uh, so timetable 201 services uh, you've got uh, a 160 apparently in the 323 hopefully it's not getting mixed or hopefully it's not including the Birmingham Cross City ones as you know that probably is 160 so you've got a nice uh, nice selection of what you can do it goes on and on and on that really does go on and on um, if you've got the Midland Main Line, uh, you then get the Class 158, uh, which gives you the, well, I think one service, yeah, one service, which is an ECS, um, as you can see from Bellevue to Manchester Piccadilly. Um, if you own Spirit of Steam, uh, you get the, well, that, <laughs> a little rail tour service there. Um, and Class 66, that will give you... Uh, some freight services which you can see on here although I think as I'm on the Xbox I don't have Great Western Express um, so you might be missing a few of the container freight services and for some reason I can't see my class 47 on there even though I have got Northern Transpennine installed but I think there is going to be a rail tour service in the class 47 as well um, scenario wise uh, you've got waterworks, a gossip line, that's one we will be doing. Three point turn, depot delivery, are you local and on guard, which is the guarding scenario. Um, so you've got the tutorial as well. Uh, journey mode, if anyone does journey modes. Oh, does the journey mode still. Where is it? Rail journeys, gossip line, 
Uh, so you've got one, two, three, four, five chapters. Uh, and it's Grim Up North as well. That's one of them. Um, right, let's let's do another service. Uh, maybe not a full return. Uh, but let's see sort of what there is on here. What, what, what could we do? Um... I saw one from Ardwick. That would be quite cool to to stop there. Or maybe come out of the depot and go into Manchester Piccadilly just to see sort of the approach again. Um, what have we got? Any sort of peculiar services? Probably not. It would be sort of quite a standard timetable. Uh, let's go up to that one up the um, top. I saw one from Ardwick. Uh, Ardwick, Ardwick, Ardwick. Which, yeah, would come out of the um, the depot, so that'd be quite cool to to say that goes to Hadfield. Uh, any what go just from Ardwick to Manchester? Oh, there is at 4:58. Uh, okay, okay. Um, oh, I'm not too sure. What should we do? What could we do? I mean, the only train included is the 323. If you don't have the other the other routes, oh, what's that one? That one's had filled. To... Let's go back to Glossop. Um, custom weather. Uh, we'll do. We we'll do. We we'll do June. Of course, we we'll do June. Uh, and let's get going. Lovely. Drive this Northern service from Hadfield to Glossop. Let's stick the master key in. Doors open. Uh, that's all good. All good. Manchester Piccadilly. Went till 14 pass. So yeah, I suppose. Well, where is the accessible coach on? Oh, there's the accessible coach. Yeah, so maybe that's why you've got the little hump in the platform. I don't really know. Why? As I suppose you probably could just use a ramp. Unless the station doesn't have a ramp, which would be weird. No, I don't think that's ever a deployable ramp. I mean, it surely it would. Yeah, you're not going to be able to bump a, a PRM up there, you know, or someone in the wheelchair won't be able to get up there safely. Or maybe they don't keep ramps at the stations, because it with sort of Southern and Thames, I think there's. There's, there's always multiple, literally almost multiple ramps on every platform. And there's even class 700 ramps on the um, the Aran Valley line, and they don't run down uh, past Horsham. But maybe Northern's a bit different. Maybe they don't have ramps uh, at the platforms, so they might store one on the train, which the guard can use. And maybe have someone in a van going around doing the assists. What's the service pattern like? Is it every half an hour? Yeah, every half an hour. Not much of a turnaround time either. Three minutes, I think that's uh, indicating on there. Yeah, it gets there at 41, leaves at 44. Which I suppose it's only a shortish service anyway, isn't it? Let's get the doors shut. And then we'll head down to Glossop. Let's go. Glossop platform one in just over one mile. That's been good so far. Um obviously I can't speak for scenery and how things are as as I said. The only reference I've got this route is the nineteen seventies version. I don't know this in real life, so I can't really speak for what it's like in real life. But I'm sure we've got people commenting saying, oh, that looks good. Oh, that, that doesn't look too good there. So feel free if you are a local to... Hang on, we didn't put on the um, systems, did we? Hmm, why is it doing that one up there? Hmm. Well, certainly a nice little route. Um, well, plenty to do. Uh, in the 323 and if you have got the other UK DLCs and you've got a little bit more to do as well
Now we come down to 10 miles per hour again. Very nice slow bit. Still got 400 yards to it. I have to try and get a nice screenshot. We haven't got a nice screenshot. We haven't got any screenshots yet. I need to get a screenshot. Come on 10, anticipating the 10 miles an hour. Let's uh, slow that down. We're not going to miss it again, are we? No, uh, we could go into step three. No, we're, 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 we're all right. Basically, bang on. Now, did there just be a platform here? Maybe, but maybe not. No, oh, what's this in here? Maybe not. Maybe it's maybe it never had a platform on that curve of track. Nice signal box there. Okay. So we very slowly make our way around the corner. <laughs> Come on train, you can do it. It's not that far. It's not that fast either. A gruelling 10 miles. There's always one section of a route where it's just really slow. Long Island Railroad coming into Hempstead and into Hempstead is about 10 miles an hour I think isn't it? Or Belmont uh, Park, that's about 10. Harlem Line, Grand Central, 10 miles an hour, painful. Long Island Railroad, 5 miles an hour in, into Atlantic Terminal. I don't know why I'm specifying US routes. Um, across city, 10 miles an hour into Birmingham New Street. East Coast way, you've got the 10 miles an hour coming into Lewis. There's always, there's always some just really slow, annoying bit on routes. I'm trying to think of one for Southeastern. I suppose it would be the bit into Strood. That's quite slow. But not slow, slow, slow. Although it's 15, so I suppose relatively slow. Up to 45. There we go. Now, I could be wrong in saying this, but I think this timetable also is a Joe. Burgess timetable. I could be wrong. I think it is a Joe Burgess timetable. So basically it means it's going to be fairly realistic. Every service which runs in real life using this train will be running. Basically it just means it's going to be really good. that down down to 10 miles an hour and we've got to change ends and I suppose we'll head back to Manchester why not head back to Piccadilly but I don't really know I suppose what to compare this sort of route too quite a lot of people like me comparing comparing routes to other routes um, but this route I don't know really I suppose a UK equivalent to it I mean I suppose Cathcart Circle that would be sort of an equivalent to it sort of a uh, a UK almost like metro service quite you know close stops together I suppose, I suppose yeah Cathcart that would be the best comparison. So if you like stuff, if you like Glasgow Cathcart Circle, you might also get along this route, and I suppose Cross City as well, but sort of half of Cross City. So imagine, yeah, just imagine Birmingham New Street to Litchfield, and that's it. No, nope, not that. Let's fight that off. Um. Let's get that off. Uh, tail lights go on. 
Uh, we'll deactivate the GSMR. Uh, return to free roam. Uh, Deregister that. Uh, we'll go th go through to the other end, and then we'll make our way back to yeah, to back to Manchester, uh, which will be Dinting. What else would it be? Dinting, Broadbottom. Uh, what else was there? Was it then Godley? Godly. Mm, what was after Godly? A flowery field. Guide Bridge, Ashbury's. I think that might be the stopping pattern. Oh, and that's another thing. You don't get the little sticker saying, are you sure of your stopping pattern? Not on this one. I'm sure Northern drivers are very much aware of their stopping pattern. Um, let's get that set up. Uh, yep, yeah, so that's a neutral. Uh, I can hear the GSMR turning on that. Go off, go to day head, get the safety systems on again, there we go, uh, and not too long, and then we'll be off again. So yeah, we have got Dinting, Broadbottom, oh Hatters there, forgot that one, Godly, oh and Newton for Hyde, forgot that one, Flowerfield, Guidebridge, Asprey's, and then Manchester Piccadilly at 9.55. So in 35 minutes, we're due into uh, Manchester Piccadilly. So a longish first look, obviously I know it's a short route, but we might as well do a return service. And you've seen it in both directions. Yeah, get the door shut. Let's forward, and let's go. And yeah, the next video of the uh, the next video we'll do of this, I guarantee, will be the guarding one. We've got to do the guard scenario. I'm sure that will probably be just after this. If you're watching when it's premiering. And if you're not, probably the next one down in the playlist. Slowly creeping our way out. I thought it was at 26 for a moment. Just the way, just the way it was there. I thought it was a 20. No, it's 25. So 26 speed limit. That would be very precise. So we have to get that up to 45 very soon once the back of the train has passed that speedboard. Which is now. Let's go. So back up to Dinting. Dinting platform two we're coming into. Let's try and get down to 25 in time. We've been quite speed happy uh, on on this, uh, well, on the on the last one and this run. Right, start slowing it down. See, that's why I find it harder having the HUD on for route. Well, I've said I don't know this route very well yet. Because I, I get distracted by how many yards away it is instead of actually focusing on how you know looking. I keep looking at sort of well the the HUD. Yeah, back on the dinting triangle. Right, coming down to ten. A little bit more. There we go. Oh, the sun hasn't even started yet. It starts when we actually get on the junction. The sign was saying otherwise. No, don't speed up. Yeah. So I suppose yeah, if you were going dinting to Hadfield, you just have to uh, backtrack. You'd have to go down to Glossop. It just only it takes a couple of minutes and then back up.
And I suppose it sort of just guess when you're in the platform. So I'd say probably about here will do. Unless it is right to the end, they go. There you go. Do the doors. And yeah, we need to get a screenshot as well. Probably should have got one at Glossop. Being called the Glossop line. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll probably I'll get one after. Eh, yeah, doors shut. Let's go. It is Broadbottom next. So back over the Dinting Viaduct, and I suppose Broadbottom basically back into Manchester. Lovely flange sounds. And I think sound wise, I think the sounds are exactly the same on the 323. But then they were already to a well, to a good quality or good good degree of quality before. So just no need to change them. And there's the horn. So yeah, all basically the same. As it didn't need to be changed. Actually no, let's try and get a screenshot on this uh, bridge as it's the uh, the Dinting Viaduct. Hang on, what I just know. I have done that. I accidentally flicked it into um, into uh, into off. Very easy to do that, and annoying as well when you do do it. Try and get the Manchester in there. There. Don't know how well that's going to come out, but there. That was the other train there. Sorry, probably holding you up, aren't we? Let's get that back on as well. There's the Dinting Viaduct, so I think we're now back in Greater Manchester. I think sort of the Dinting Viaduct is the uh, is the border. So I'm gonna have to have a look now. Google Maps, my best friend. Where is the border? Uh, is is Dinting the border? Uh, let's see, Manchester. Uh, there's, there it is, Hot Hadfield. So where's, where's, where's the border then? Door bottom. Uh, Dar, Dar, Derbyshire. It is. Yeah, it is. I think it is the Dinting Vibe. Oh no, hang on. No, it's not. It's the it's the it's the little bridge before Broadbottom. That's that's the um, that's the border. Yeah, so it's that sort of what we did think might be the Dinting Viaduct when we first did it. It's that bridge there. So this this valley down here, that that's the border uh, between Derbyshire and well, I suppose Manchester. Where's so forty is coming up? Has anyone ever travelled on this line in real life? If you have, comment below. How does it compare to the real thing? There's the forty. Yeah, so this is this is the county border, the county line. So we're now Well I suppose yeah, we're now in Greater Manchester. Leaving Derbyshire behind. Start bringing that down. And big thanks again to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show it off. Oh yeah, new shiny, exciting DLC. And a modern UK route, so basically the best DLC you can get. Oh, 
I apologise, I forgot about the middle and main line. I can't believe that. What was that, near the beginning as well? The last modern DLC we've had since Edinburgh Glasgow. Unbelievable. My excuse is I'm recording this late. So it's probably someone's prior... Oh, whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can we go in there? Sorry, trainer, we're probably going to delay the whole service to see if we can walk in someone's... That way, in, in the little... There you go, flowers planted in, in that little... It's going to be a nightmare getting across here, isn't it? Come on. I would say just let's just walk across the tracks, but... Probably not the best thing to do. Come on, people, move out of the way. Can we go in there? It looks like it's sort of all modelled as well. Oh, we can as well. Look at this. Now that dovetail, I like that. Sort of being able to just go in a bit more sort of detail, isn't it? So we know a little, t a little ticket office here, looking a bit dirty and in there. That's cool. Right, back to the train. The driver's getting distracted. And onwards to the next stop, which was Newton for Hyde. Probably not, is it? Oh, it has to say that one. Forgotten it. Forgotten it again. Let's go. One mile away. Get some speed on us. I'm seeing lots of new assets on this route, though, which is is always a good thing. Uh, lots of new footbridges or custom footbridges, and yeah, lo lots of new assets on here, which is nice to see. Instead of sort of just reusing old assets, which I must admit, the Midland Main Line. Did do quite a bit. Well, Skyrock did that quite a bit. The Midland Main Line, you saw lots of sort of old assets, especially the footbridge. Uh, although then they went back and then changed it. So it's nice to see lots of new shiny assets on here. Which I suppose if you don't know what I don't know what an asset is, it's just a bit of scenery, like the the bins, the I suppose the trees, the little buildings, they're all, they're all sort of assets. All the assets make up the scenery. There's the fence that nobody can get round or go through. This seems like a station but doesn't get a lot of, a lot of love from Northern. There's absolutely nothing here. <laughs> I think even the 70s version looks very similar to this. Hattersley just doesn't get any love. Nothing. It's quite a grim looking station, really. Like a dodgy, sort of dodgy footbridge down onto the station. Won't we'll be hanging around here at night. Right. Let's go Godly next. Which is in just over half a mile. What's that down there? What's this? That little can there and a little log. I wonder if that's a collectible. Sounds silly to say that, but on Northern Trans Pennine, a log is actually a collectible. <laughs> So sort of logs right up against the tracks, which you have to sort of get out and clear up. See, so I wonder if this was the old Godly station, or maybe even a whole just other station, which would be ridiculously close, 600 yards from uh, Godly. Or maybe even the old Hattersley station. Be 
coming into Godly. Which it does have a relatively short platform, so I don't want to be coming into it too quick. Don't really want to be overshooting on the first look. Which if we're not careful, we will. So let's be careful. Look at that, almost the perfect stop. Almost. That would do. Yeah, very short platform here. Just about, well, not just about, but well. Yeah, you probably couldn't get, well, you might be able to get a fourth coach on there. Nah, she, mm, probably not. Or maybe just about if you went right up to the end. Is that a little, little CIS board tucked under the uh, shelter there? That's one hit, look at that. <laughs> sort of tucked inside the, I like that, inside the waiting shelter. And same on this side as well. Sort of just tucked in here. Cool. Uh, right, Newton for Hyde next. Let's go. We're off. Let's go. Is that a single or is a single yellow? Okay, well, we'll be extra careful. I mean, we are running late, so I can't imagine we are following anything, but maybe we are. Oh, well, there is a junk. There is a junction coming up, isn't there? Somewhere along here. I think that was, um, yeah, not too far after this. Maybe it's something to do with, uh, with that. Maybe there's a an air freight service going ahead of us. This is Newton for Hyde. Right to the end. I can't see any stop markers at some of these stations. I mean, assuming they would have stop markers. Here we are. Cool. Here we are. This is this station. Let's get the door shut. And is Flower Refilled next? No, hold on. I'm so used to just sort of getting in this train and turning that off from the Cross City. It's sort of a habit of just turning the HUD off. Not just yet for this route. Well, there's only a short route. Well, there does seem to be quite a few speed changes, though. Mostly down to sort of 60, 40, then 25, 10. I'm sure we'll earn it. There we go. Then into flower we for flower. It's a bit of a tough. Once you keep saying it, it becomes quite hard to say. Flower, flower, flowery field. Just keep saying it over and over again, and you it just it, you lose track of it. Flowery field. There's not really much at this station, is there? Almost feels like a new state. I, I don't know if this one's actually on the 70th. Flowery field. I don't know if it's maybe a newer state. It does seem like a newer station. Unless it just had like a big upgrade or something. Yeah, it just looks very looks very new. I mean, there's not even any any sort of station building, which I suppose near enough every old station had some sort of station. It's just it it looks very new, like a very new station. 
Maybe the flowery field estate they were building here. Right, guide bridge next. I'm having it. I've got to have a look. Flowery field. Flowery field. No, not lowery field. Flowery. Flowery field. Train station. Let's have a look. Is it a new station? It is. It is a newer station. Well, it, it wouldn't have been in the old uh, 70s version on Train Sim Classic. It says it... Oh, ooh. oh, no, that's not for us. It said it opened in May 1985. So it is, well, a, a relatively new station. And what's that one there, then? Is that... What's, what's this one? That one is Hyde North. Oh. So a little bit of a gap to the next one. Let's just speed that up. There we go. One mile to Guy Bridge. And then we've got another 40 coming up. Yeah, there we go. Four point eight. That forty is coming up relatively soon. Eight hundred yards. So a triple track along here. That one goes off wherever that goes. So it's connecting up with the uh, junction here. Right, we're down to 40. Another train already? It hasn't been half an hour since the last one. Surely not. That one can't be going to Hadfield. Probably is, though. Maybe it has been half an hour since we saw the last one. This is Guide Bridge. So we got just over 10 minutes until we're due back into Manchester Piccadilly. That's a nice nice return run on the new line. And hopefully everyone has enjoyed it as well. It's been a blast. A blast of Northern. Which it is a new train operating company in the game as well. We haven't seen Northern before. So always nice to get a new TO, well, or exciting and nice to get a new uh, train operating company in the game. Right. No, not that. Asprey's next in three and a half miles. Let's just stick it right in max. Let's go. And we got to 60 as well. So we're at 9.48 in about 5 minutes. Cool. So we actually do pass a fair few stations on this stretch. Which it does seem some trains do stop there. Uh, but late at night. So, so technically you're not an all-stop service, but more of a, I suppose, a semi-fast to begin with, and then an all-stops. More just a semi-fast service. Here's the weird bridge with all of the uh, overhead poles. Very sort of peculiar, but under we go. Probably some sort of motorway. Let's get a flyby shot. We haven't got one this video, but as we're sort of on a bit of a stretch at the moment, we uh, we can, we can. In fact, let's get it going through this station. Let's see what this station's called as well. This is Fairfield. No, don't block the shot. Oi, out the way! I want to get a nice shot of the train coming through. 
There it is. Alright, guys. Cool. Get the HUD back on before we forget to take the HUD on and fire through the station. Yeah, that's Manchester, Pic uh, Manchester Piccadilly after, the, after that. But yeah, nice to have Piccadilly in the game. Um, and I suppose that does, you know, open the door for maybe more Manchester routes. Uh, now, I suppose now they've modelled Manchester Piccadilly. Obviously, probably not, but you never know. Maybe we could see some more Manchester routes. Although, what would you rather see? Routes out of Manchester Victoria? Or a modern route out of Manchester Victoria? Or another one out of Piccadilly? Which just goes a bit further. I mean, what options do you have out of Piccadilly? So, there's what, the West Coast Main Line? Yeah, it seems like some early, well, late night services and probably early morning one stop here. One mile to 40. Seems to be a common pattern with the speed limits on this route. 60, 40, 60, 40. Then the old 10 miles an hour. I'm going to look at the route map again, just quickly, before we overshoot the station. There it is. And, uh, yeah, coming into Ashbury's. Another line joining up there. Oh, I wonder if that's where the um, that lone 158 service uh, joins up. Because I think that's it. You sort of drive from Ashbury's to Manchester Piccadilly. So it might be where you can do the um, the ECS 158 from. I like this station. It's, it's a nice station. Sort of the red uh, platform to it. So it's, it's got a, a nice vibe, this station. Here we are. This is Ashbury's. On the stop marker as well. It's a nice station. You've got a really sort of tall footbridge as well. As the wires are now much... But it seems like they're sort of much higher up now. That's nice. What a view you'd get from up here as well. Sort of of the uh, surrounding area. Was that a US uh, road texture? Hmm. Now we get the door shut, and then yeah, that's uh, Manchester Piccadilly next. Journey's end. Must have been about an hour and 25 minutes or so. So, a relatively long first look of this route, but then when this route does actually come out, unfortunately, I will not be uh, here. I'll be 200 miles away. So I might as well have an extra long first look. Yeah, 40. And we sort of join the throat into uh, Manchester Piccadilly. Now, this must, yeah, this must be the Ardwick Depot. And then Ardwick Station. Which, yeah, I wonder if any actually do stuff at Ardwick Station. I can't remember if there was actually any CIS there. Let's go and have a look. That's an ominous sound. What's that? Some sort of bell. There's no so this is absolutely diddy station. Look at that. <laughs> it's, just, it's like the the diddiest little island. In the, I, I don't know. It's just a. Even the footbridge to it. I can't imagine this gets many passengers. It's just like it's sort of tucked down tucked down a back street. 
Well, yeah, the little footbridge over to get onto it from that place there. Probably a cool place to watch trains, though. Sort of right at sort of the beginning of the throat into uh, Manchester Piccadilly. But yeah, back in we go. I don't know how can we conclude. Uh, and yeah, I don't think you can see the Etihad either. Yeah, I don't think you can see the Etihad over to the right. Um, but yeah, how do we sort of? How will I conclude the route? I mean, I suppose I'll I'll leave it up to you. You know how you think of it, but um, I think yeah, definitely comparable to Cross City, uh, but say sort of half of Cross City, um, and Cathcart Circle as well. Sort of that sort of metro feel to it. Quite close stops, um, sort of going from very urban to rural. Um, it's the three two three you're driving, nice and easy to drive. It's not really hard to drive the 3 2 3, it's just the uh, foot on brake there, uh, which is all all as one. Uh, but yeah, nice scenery. Um, I suppose there's nothing sort of majorly. What's the word? There's nothing really majorly exciting about the route. Um, but you know, it's another new route. It's Manchester Piccadilly, which I suppose probably is the exciting thing about it. Um, and yeah, it's a new operator as well, being Northern. So I suppose that that they that that they would be sort of the main two things exciting about this route: Manchester Piccadilly and having Northern as a new operator. And I suppose number three, just being sort of yeah, well, it's a new route in the northwest. Um, and it's cheap as well. It's nineteen pound ninety nine, and I think if you own Birmingham Cross City, uh, you do get some money off as well, uh, as part of like the the as it's the same train, almost the same train. Well, it is the same train, but just different interior. That's slightly different in the cab as well. But no, I don't really have any complaints about it, as I I'm not local to the area. I don't know it, Manchester North. I don't know it. So I can't really be like, oh, that's wrong, oh, that's wrong. But if anyone spot any mistakes or any sort of really good bits, comment below what the pros and cons of what you've seen from this. There we go. DRA on. Uh, get them off. Tail lights on. And that will be it. But yeah, that's going to be it, everyone. Uh, for today's look at the uh, Glossop line, it will be available tomorrow when this video is going out. Uh, so the 27th of June it will be available for £19.99 on the Xbox uh, Gen 8, Gen 9, Series X, Series S, Xbox One, uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Epic Games, Steam. Uh, it will be on it. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show it off. Links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one, which will probably be doing the guarding scenario, which I'm looking forward to. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.